And if you keep reading and looking at some of the other benefits, not, you know, we just talked about full body, we talked about strength. I think it's also really important to talk about how it can help on the athletic performance side. I know I kind of mentioned mm-hmm. that, but yeah. I mean, there were studies that were done for beginner, like what was it? Beginner endurance runners. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm maybe quoting this incorrectly, but from what I remember reading, they were saying that the, they had some individuals jump rope and then go and start their training. And then I had people that just started their training and the people that incorporated doing the jump rope before they trained and then started doing their endurance training actually had more uh, better results and felt better with reduced injuries because of the less stiffness that they had in their feet. They were getting obviously good movement and motion within their toes. Again, remember, we've talked about the first MTP joint, which is the great toe, Uh the big toe. And if you need to have about 70 degrees of movement backwards, and if you're not really, you know, using your toes and jumping off and landing correctly, especially when you run, you're going to end up having some issues in the ankles. You could have issues that translate into the knees. So I found that to be kind of fascinating too, when you're looking at, well, if I incorporate this before I do something for a long period of time, such as running, it can actually be beneficial and help reduce injuries versus cause them. Yeah. And I know, I know with your clients, I know you have clientele that run right for exercise, go outside and they go for a run. And I have clients that do the same thing. And if you really think about it, when you're running, you have 10 to 12 times body weight, as far as the forces that translate through the knee when you're running. Um, so when we think about okay how do you prepare the body to take on that impact and all those forces that are coming up through as you're talking about wendy the foot and ankle the knee the hip uh the spine so those low amplitude jumps if you if you just go outside and this is something that i just i bang my head against the wall on as far as getting my clients to warm up warm up is more than just walking the block going for a slower paced jog and then going for your run. It's running is running from that vantage point. You are controlling the tempo, but what else can you do to get the body ready for that impact that it's about to take on with every step um, that you take? There's a song in there somewhere. Every move you make. uh, Yeah. (laughs) I'll be watching you. (laughs) (laughs) Now now I'm going to have that song in my head for the rest of the day, Wendy. (laughs) Thank you. Thank I'm you here much. for you. I'm yeah. here for you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you noticed I didn't th- sing it because yeah. nobody wants to hear that. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, but from the vantage point, when you're jumping, that, those low amp- amplitude jumps, and for all that you're talking about, Wendy, that contact point with the foot, getting the toe, that big toe to warm up, and just to get the foot and the ankles for that extension, that flexion and extension, all those things are going to help you warm up, prepare yourself for that 